So welcome to the next episode of the Explain series and this uh, is going to be a question and answer session on circumcision. Uh, another question I've got is, does it affect your approach to hygiene? So if you have a foreskin, you need to be more meticulous about your penile health. And I've made many videos about how it's important. You don't use soap, but that doesn't matter if you're circumcised or uncircumcised, or whether you're male or female for that matter. Uh, you don't use soap around the genital area, full stop, okay? Soap contains surfactants. Surfactants dry out the skin and dried skin cracks okay and it'll probably crack more in an uncircumcised male than it will a circumcised male because the skin on a circumcised male tends to be a little bit tougher so if you've got a foreskin you have to uh, if you can retract it comfortably and so this applies to adults this doesn't apply to kids we'll come on to that later uh, so if you're an adult and you can retract your foreskin uh, you stand up you retract your foreskin, you pee, after you've peed, do a few shakes, and then you splash water on the head of the penis uh, to wash it out, okay? If you want to use a product, you use an emollient. You don't use soap, okay? So no shower gels, uh, no other uh, types of flavored or scented, different types of uh, soaps or other bits and pieces. Just use water. If you want to use something, use an emollient, okay? Um, E45 emollient. Anything that ex people with eczema use, I tend to use Dermal 200. Uh, but whatever you do, if you use an emollient like Dermal 200, it's not a moisturizer, okay? It's a wash. And so on wet skin, you apply the emollient and then you wash it off. Be careful you don't slip over because these things are really, really, really slippery.